Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the water supply underneath the sink. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the GE refrigerator ice maker water line. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new ice maker water line. The ice maker water line carries the water up to the ice maker. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's damaged, you're getting water leaking on the floor. In order to change the part, we have to go around to the back of the refrigerator. Now that we're around back, we're going to use the quarter inch nut driver to take out all the screws that hold the access cover on. Once you have all the screws out, you can lift the cover off and set it aside. Now that we have the cover off, we can take the water valve out. We're going to use a 5 16 nut driver to take out the screw that holds it to the cabinet. Once you have it out, we're going to carefully pull the whole water valve assembly out. You want to be careful that you don't catch them on any of these copper lines. Once you have the valve clear, we're going to put a towel down to catch any water that may come out. And then we're going to grab a 3 inch wrench and remove the ice maker water line from where it connects onto the water valve. We're just going to use the wrench to press on this release collar. Once you have it pressed down, then we can pull the water line out of the valve. Now that we have the ice maker water line disconnected from the valve, we're going to follow it up to the top so we can disconnect from the grommet. It's just kind of pushed into this pressure fitting so we're just going to carefully pull down on it and take it out of the grommet. Once you have it out you can pull it off the refrigerator. Here's the old ice maker water line next to the new one. If you already have one of these great. If not you can get it at appliancepartspros.com. The new one's a little bit longer than the old one so we're going to trim it to length. We're just going to match up the two water lines and cut off the excess. You just want to be careful as you're cutting the new water line. You want to use a really sharp razor and make sure that when you're cutting down that you don't crimp the water line and deform it so it doesn't seal. Once you have it cut off, you can put it onto the refrigerator. Now we can put the new ice maker water line into the grommet. You don't want to push it up too far. You don't want to jam it up to the top so no water gets through. You just want to push it in enough so it passes the clamp and you get a good seal. If it's hard to get in past the clamp, you can get it wet inside there to make it easier to slide in. Once you have it installed into the grommet, we can follow it down and hook it up to the water valve. In order to install the water line into the valve, we're just going to very carefully push it into the valve until it seats and bottoms out. You want to make sure it locks in so you get a good seal. Once you have it in place, we're going to rotate the water valve back over so we can push all the water lines back into the cabinet. Just want to make sure everything is clear, not rubbing on anything. Once you have the valve in place, we can use the 5 16 inch nut driver to put the screw in that holds it in place. Now that we have the water valve mounted, we can put the access cover back on. In order to put the access cover on, we're just going to line it up so the screw holes line up. And we're going to put this one in the middle in place to hold it while we put in all the other screws. Now that we have the access cover on, we can plug the refrigerator back in, turn the water back on, and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.